All right, this will just be a quick video since you guys actually wanted for me to make an updated video on an FPS guide, so let's get right into it. First of all, you will click the GitHub link in the description. It should be the first link. It will take you to this thing called Blockstrap. If you're wondering, is this a cheat? No, it's not. It's just a custom Roblox launcher. And once you're here, you will click on this release tab on the newest version two weeks ago. Then you go scroll down and click this vsx64.exe. Click then save it anywhere you want, save it, then you're gonna let it start on real quick. All right, now that you have downloaded it, what you can do, you can just drag it anywhere, open it up, just run it normally, and then it should up, up, up this thing here. And the first thing you can do is, we're gonna change some settings. If you want like um, this good integrity, aka basically that it shows what game you're playing, how long you're playing, you can leave it on. I usually never leave it on because I have no points for that. Then you can go to mods, aka you can change if you want the old Roblox oof dev sound, I like it, so I'm gonna use it on. You can change the cursor, if you want the desktop app, I disable it, I don't like the desktop app. And what I would also recommend is doing this, this disables a feature in Windows, which actually kinda screws a bit with your FPS and stuff around, so to do that. Then go to fast flex, you will just set this frame limit, I, don't, would, I wouldn't link it to 240 frames, I would just link it to 240 because you never need 240. If you want you can limit it to 360 or that. Next is the render engine, and it really depends on like what system you have. What I would do is, I would just like try them all out, like one at a time. Try Direct 3 if it runs better than Vulkan, like, run it like that, basically like that. I usually have it on Vulkan or Direct 3D 11. I'm just gonna keep it on Vulkan. I like enable full screen alter. This is just gonna help you with uh, graphics so you can only use 3D. Then I also use this because I find it's nice. And I would usually leave these two alone unless you're doing. I like future sprite. They actually look, the lighting is better if you use lighting. And then we go to appearance. Pretty much just change how blocks will look. The behavior, like if you should auto update it or whatever. Then installation where we'll install it and after you have done all of that you can click on install and it should install it so here blah 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 click continue now it's going to install the custom roblox client once again you have to wait but while it's installing we're going to talk about it if you don't want to install blockstrap if you think like maybe your windows will leave it a security warning the second link in the description will have a client settings file which will just have the client settings usually that blockstrap has so if you don't want to install you can just use that it will pretty much do the exact same thing and pretty much yeah Anyways, let's re quick install this real quick. Alright, now that you installed Roblox, it usually auto opens it up, but for now we don't need it. If you do want to though, we can actually check if it actually runs. Let's just go into aimblox, I guess. So then again, we can check if the if, then you can check if everything works, but usually if Blockstrip is starting this up, it should work without any problems. See? This should run Roblox now. And if you press uh, sh uh, Shift F3, you can see. Uh, Shift F5, you can see. The FPS unlocker worked without any problem. We have our thing. We have our 21 bars, which you technically, if you use the same as me, two bars means one normal bar for normal. So I use four for two, basically. Simple as that, right? Then, basically, now this has pretty much been it with it. But if you like want to open up a block strap again, want to change some stuff, what you can do is just like press your Windows key and just type in block strap. See, then you have this block strap menu. Also, sorry for that. And yeah, here you can just change your settings. And now here you can also like open up the install folder where it installs it. And from there you can just delete it if you want to do it. Uh, but yeah, this has pretty much been it with the video. This is pretty much all you need. There's like, yeah, if you do that, but I don't think you need anything else. This is pretty much how I do it. And this is pretty much how I can get a lot of frames very fastly. And there's one more setup thing. So basically, if you don't need it or you do, if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you can just leave the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. But for the people that still have an NVIDIA control panel, you will now right click your mouse and click NVIDIA control panel. Because now we go into some more specific FPS boosting settings. First click on adjust image settings with preview. You can just click then make sure to use advanced 3D image settings. Then you can go to manage 3D settings. Now you could change it globally for every game. But I would just go to program settings. Then you click add and let it load for a second. So yeah, now that this has been done rolling. Usually it always should see, see it here, Roblox game plan. But if not, you just click browse and locate where your block server is installed or the Roblox files. I'll just click Roblox Game Client, add, select the program, and now you will just copy these settings. I will just go through them slowly so you can copy them. If you don't have monitor technology, that is completely fine. You don't need it. This is pretty much just, this is pretty much just for uh, monitors that have G-Sync, so you don't need that particularly. You will just here select your uh, GPU that you have.
But yeah, this is pretty much everything you need for this. So the only thing I would change is you can prefer layered, la layered on DJ Click Swap Chain if you want. I just use Auto. Then you click Apply. And yeah, this is pretty much all you had to do. Well, but yeah, this is pretty much has been it with the video now. This is how you get the best FPS for Roblox currently at this time. If there's anything more and you guys want to make, want to see me make an update video, let me know in the comments. But anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and obviously subscribe. I'm Roblox, I'm Connor and we'll see you straight in the next one. Normal updates, normal uploads tomorrow, by the way.